what's up guys uh thank you very much for being a literator uh, i really appreciate that now in our previous video uh we talked about this uh emergence of the switch and um we showed we drew uh this circuit diagram here behind me on the board and we explained uh, a few things how you can incorporate it in your in your circuit whatever circuit you're doing that controls these drives okay uh now today we are doing a practical video showing uh all those uh circuit we showed on the board okay so follow along as we uh do this okay uh, thank you all right now so this is uh uh emergency safety switch and we said previously that uh it has got two contacts so it has got a normally closed and normally open so normally closed is what we use uh, basically always okay now we have a circuit here that uh, it's a self holding circuit that uh, hold itself the same way you see right here so now we want to incorporate this and also we want to add this indicator light okay uh, where I said in the previous video that this one helps to alert the people around or the people who are in charge that there is something wrong that going on, okay? So, when you're connecting this uh, emergence, it should be before the control. So now in this case, uh, you have this uh, power here on these buttons. So, uh, what we're going to do, we will... Uh, switch off our supply and now we want to pass this current we want to pass it here okay Okay, now we have uh, connected an emergency switch between the control breaker uh, and the control circuit, okay? So what we're going to do, we're just going to connect the same uh, this side. So we have to loop here a wire. I remember we said in a previous video that we are supposed to connect uh, to add a light, okay? Or uh, a light or a, a silent. So you have to, to loop. And then you make sure that uh, all your connections are tight. Okay, and now this goes back to your control breaker. <clears throat> okay. Now, I think here we are, we are good, okay? So, but what we have to do, we have to connect our... We have to connect now our indicator light. So the indicator light goes here. And then, of course, this side goes to the neutral. So we just pick a neutral here from the contact itself. All 
All right. Now, the thing you have to know is that uh, you can have as multiple uh, emergence switches as you can, okay? So it depends on the machine or in the situation where you're connecting it. So you can connect them in series uh, in multiple places. Because in most cases, when the incident is happening, uh, perhaps it's not easy to reach uh, where they think is, much as you have to put it here, uh, uh, much accessible as you can. But at least multiple people, if one person misses it, another person can always, uh, you know, uh, push it, okay? Now, the siren also, there can be more than one. Uh, a siren can be heard uh, almost all over, but the, the indicator lights must be spread uh, around, okay? All right. Now, uh, our emergency switch is in off position, or I mean, is in on position. So, if we start our circuit, So if we start our circuit, it runs, okay? So assuming your motor is running and uh, you're doing something uh, with it, and then in case of an emergency, so someone will come and push this, okay? Someone will come and hit this and the circuit will go off. And if you look critically, our indicator lights is, you know, because I have a light there, it's on, okay? It's on, it's, it's lighting. So, after restoring the situation, then you can just come and reset our, and then the, the light will go off, and then you reset the button here. So again, you can start, the machine can run, okay? So always you have to remember that uh, this emergence has to be uh, before the control, okay? You put it before the control, there it becomes very easier for in person to save your life if you're the operator, okay? All right. So, same thing, you have a circuit running over there, running very well, and then you come, you just, you know, hit this switch, very soft, it's easy, okay? And that's it. So, uh, thank you very much uh, for watching, I really appreciate it, uh, please, don't forget to subscribe to like and share and sharing I mean uh, to those people whom you think that this kind of content uh, you know they love them okay uh, don't you know uh, be selfish watch alone sh uh, you know share it to your friends and loved one such that they can also uh, grab some of the knowledge that we give on this channel until next time I'm out